Hey guys, it's Tommy with Studio Sins. Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Mont Blanc Explorer, something I've been looking forward to trying out. I just got it today at the 100 ml bottle, and it's the Eau de Parfum. Really excited about this one. I've heard a lot of things about it. You know, the regular naysay talk about, oh, it's just another Aventus clone. What I'm going to do is put that out of my head, and I'm going to look at this and experience this all on its own as if the three Govadin perfumers who created this, I'm sure they weren't just like, let's make on the Ventus clone or however they said it during their board meeting or brainstorming session. So I'm excited to bust open this box, kind of experience it for myself and hopefully you guys can experience it with me. Give me some feedback in the comments below as to what you think about Mont Blanc Explorer. <laughs> First though, I thought it would be kind of fun to watch the commercial spot. So let's check out the whiteboard and watch the commercial. So let's try that out now. Explorer, the new fragrance. So Mont Blanc Explorer, but it does say we're all about going to the four corners of the earth and exploring and bringing back the best of all those locations and putting it in a bottle. And that's what Mont Blanc is saying. So we're gonna take the outer shell off, which as you can see is just made of cardboard. It is a graphic that is the same on all four sides. It is the Eau de Parfum 100 ml, 3.3 ounces. If you can see that, it's pretty cool. Nothing there. Looks like something, a uh, magic trick. I'm gonna make this appear. Whoa! Anyway, okay, set that aside. This is wrapped in cellophane, pretty thick cellophane. Uh, I would say I highly recommend that if you do purchase this online to do it with a guarantee because there are some knockoffs out there. You want a money back guarantee. I got this from perfume.com. They do a really good business and I highly recommend them because uh, my good friend Ashton of Gentsense recommended them and that is why I ordered this from. So take the plastic off. As you can see, the box, Mont Blanc. Eau de Parfum, 100 ml, nothing on either side. It's the same on the front as it is on the back with some additional things, your batch code, your UPC, SKU, barcode, things like that. Like this, as you can see, is pretty awesome. One of the complaints is that you can't see how much juice is in the bottle because of the kind of, they wrapped almost like a, a leather. You can feel it, it's got a tactile feel to it like leather. And you've got the Mont Blanc logo or emblem. The bottom of the bottle will be about the only location you could see the juice. And you could kind of see where it's at. I really like that they've got the, the logo also em embossed into the glass in the bottom of the glass. That's pretty cool. But you can still see the juice. I don't know if you can see it. Put it up close to the camera there. But you can see how much juice that you have left from the bottom. And that would be not necessarily a super headache. The top of the lid. It also has the Mont Blanc emblem and it does say Mont Blanc Explorer across the top. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of etched into the steel. One thing I love about this designer is that of course they make the pins uh, also, but they really focus on the design of the bottle and put some thought into the bottle. Sometimes you can tell designers the bottle is just an afterthought. It's a really good time to highlight another facet. Top notes include bergamot, sage, pink pepper. Middle note is a special vetiver. Base note includes patchouli, cacao, ambroxan, akigala wood. Some designers don't get that. Mont Blanc definitely gets it. Pops off. It's got a... It's on there really good. Wow. That is a good atomizer. Puts out a good amount of juice. Oh wow. 
What a bright citrusy opening. Mmm. Now I've heard a lot of comments on how this the opening doesn't last. We're gonna wait for a little bit. I'm not gonna make you wait with me, but that citrus opening is amazing. You can definitely you definitely have the the bergamot. That bergamot adds the bright sweet tang and the pink the pink pep the pink pepper is what it rides on. Honestly, it's still staying there even after like I'm going to I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to wait a good 15 20 minutes because I believe that's going to be part of the first impressions I think are all about the first 30 minutes of a the life of a fragrance. So I'm going to give it about 30 minutes and we're going to see what that dry down is like cuz it doesn't usually take the dry down the, the typical dry down is between 15 and, and 20 minutes and I'm I've heard a lot of comments about the bergamot just going away and all you're left with is kind of like this uh, aroma bomb, aroma chemical bomb. There is a slight synthetic smell, but it's not the it's not the um, the kind that is off-putting, right? And not to compare Explorer with Office for Men by Fragrance One, because I, I do like Office for Men, but from the get-go, like right out of the bottle, it's just like a whoo. Wow, that is very chemical. That is very, it is an aroma chemical bomb at first. And you give it a few minutes and then it starts breathing life into itself and it starts undressing those layers a little bit better. But right out of this bottle, the bergamot is in like begging you to shake hands with, with the other players and the other ingredients in, in Explorer. I'm gonna come back and tell you. All right, guys, I am back, and it has been actually a little bit longer than 20 minutes. I got tied up, but that's probably a good thing. Uh, the bergamot has dried off, and now it's opening up to a little bit. I think it's starting to undress and um, envelop the, the layers and the complications within those fragrances. I can definitely smell the sage, the patchouli, and vetiver. Have you ever played musical chairs? Fragrance almost plays musical chairs with your nose because at times everybody's up going around when the music's going right and you can smell everything when the music's playing and nobody's sitting down you can smell all the layers and you're like okay I smell everything and then suddenly the music stops and only one person is left standing and it's almost like that with fragrance at certain times you can tell everybody's taking a back seat and there's only one thing that's coming to the fore like I get the ambroxan that's coming to the fore because it's heavy it's laden with it and it's in the base and um, but there's also kind of a woodsy I don't know what kind of there's a I don't, I don't know what kind of wood is in this but there's definitely a whether it might be it, it kind of reminds me of Gayak wood it's not as easily picked up as something like sandalwood or cedar but it does have a little bit of a high note to it so I'm gonna say something like Gayak wood maybe not I don't know anyway there is definitely a woodsy note that's covering the base along with the the vetiver, the amber, definitely amber, ambroxan smell you got. But the pink pepper is still there. The pepper, the sage still come th comes through occasionally, but most of that has dried down. What I will say about this is I'm really looking forward to trying it on my skin. I would like to give a full review uh, of Mont Blanc Explorer because I think it's definitely worth a full review. Does it smell like Creed Aventus? Okay, sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of fragrances out coming out now that do smell like Creed Aventus. But let's face it, they're ingredients. These ingredients are in a lot of fragrances. It's not like you can put a patent on Ambroxan. It's not like you can put a patent on Violet. I mean, this doesn't have violet note in it. It has kind of a violet sensation, but definitely not a violet note. It's probably somewhere along the lines of the sage and the vetiver working together, but you can't patent ingredients. So it's okay if a fragrance smells like another fragrance. This is definitely not a clone. People are using that terminology. Oh, it's just another clone of Aventus. Okay, I don't think that the three perfumers that, that put this together had in mind creating an Aventus clone, but okay, it smells like it. To me, this has some differences especially in the dry down where it starts yeah creating it it starts growing legs of its own it's not going to ride on the coattails of, of creative Aventus. this is going to be i think in a in a ballpark all of its own all right guys that's it for my quick first impressions and breakdown of mont blanc explorer i really like the house mont blanc they've you know they've thrown some misses in my book in my estimation but they've thrown more hits than misses and this is definitely a hit if it isn't now, I think it's definitely gonna be. Now this was released in February of this year. 
So it's had time to kind of grow legs and, and gain its sea legs, as it were, its feet. And I think it's starting to do that. I think people are starting to see it's not just another Aventus clone, but it's gonna stand on its own personality. And I really like the commercial as well. Thank you so much for your support and for watching. For those of you that have stopped by on my channel for the first time, I'm glad that you came. Please hit that bell icon. For those of you that keep coming back, thanks so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time. Presentation is, is, you know, everyone's all about presentation, right? It's half about how you look just as it is about how you smell.